this down? Okay. Um, hi, my name's Logan, and I'm a senior at Millard North. Call back. Okay. <laughs> and this is my poem called, one second, once I get there, sorry. Um, this is my poem called Peace in Impure Places. So I grew up in a Christian home, and since I could remember, I've always had an interest in God. I knew from the beginning that I was loved, though I was flawed. I was the little girl that sat through church, peering at the pastor's perch. I'd smile and nod. Now here's where my story starts to twist. The abuse began as soon as age six, something I knew that God could not fix. My storybook Bible collected dust as I played with ways to make Barbies have sex. I became this satisfying object for lust. Late night knocks on my door were things I came to expect. I adapted to a life that whirled around this deep and dark secret, feared for my life that I would not keep it. By age seven, I was addicted, completely convinced I was not a normal kid, did everything I could to come off as innocent, hoping the smile on my face wouldn't recede. But if only they knew the things that I've seen, that Disney's not the only channel wired behind the screen. They'd ask me, does that feel good? To which I'd answer yes, cause I figured I should, but it hurt. I was uncomfortable, I was nude, I was vulnerable, I was used. To go back to God was the last thing I need. I thought in no way was God fond of me, let alone the fact that he let this happen to me. When I was 13, a therapist asked me the most daunting question. Have you ever been touched inappropriately? He asked. I couldn't resist, nearly choked on the word, yes. Sure enough, my life unfolded into this insecure mess, could not eat, I was so depressed. Watched my family fall to shatters, all cause I confessed. The abuse was all that matters for three years and it tore me to shreds. In the midst of all this, I stumbled upon this church camp. My mom insisted it'll be good for me, but not to be seen, heard, or noticed was my whole goal that week. Listen, I got to this place where so many kids my age were as broken as me, if not worse. I quickly realized who am I to carry my circumstances as if I'm cursed, as if I'm not weak. The weight of all this pressed me to my knees. I have to admit that I'm broken and I need peace. He truly healed my wounds through therapy. I feel completely renewed because he was there for me. He taught me how to forgive when it's undeserving. All because of him, I'm no longer hurting. I looked at my abusers with eyes of compassion, forgiven in a moment despite what happened. Why did God let this happen? He answered that question when three young girls heard my story and also confessed it. Because turns out God is in the business of bringing peace to impure places. I brought my, pe my past to the altar and he blessed it.